So, if I were to say, once upon a time, what's the first story you think of? Probably your favorite story or movie you used to watch, right? But it definitely takes you back a few years. Now, how much of that story do you remember? I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but I find it super hard to remember things from when I was little. I know I'm still pretty young now, but it's terribly difficult regardless. For my English class, I got to interview my grandparents about some of their favorite stories from when they were young. Now, what I heard was not what I expected. I expected to hear just standard Cinderella, Snow White, Jack and the Beanstalk, answering my most basic questions, but instead, I heard parts of all these stories mixed together, which was really cool. It was followed by, I don't remember the rest, or I think I just mixed some stories together. This really got me thinking. How on earth could they remember so much from their childhoods, even if it's just bits and pieces, but if I have trouble remembering stuff from mine? They described to me how they learned the story and where they learned it from. Their schools and parents made sure to keep them entertained by telling stories. And something that they said made things easier to remember was when they remembered what was happening in their lives at the time. My grandfather said that during elementary school, his teacher would tell his class stories from the Civil War right after recess. He couldn't remember the stories, but he remembered the setting. And my grandmother told me that her parents' divorce made her forget a bunch of stories from her childhood because she had tried to block out a lot of the negative feelings the stories went with them. Now, I know this didn't really answer my original question, what was your favorite story to hear as a kid and why, but it was fascinating. Generally, I think not finding out the answer to your question would be seen as a negative. But I don't really see why you always need to find out the answer to the specific question you're looking for. I still learned so much from my interviews, and it gave me great stuff to write about and to talk about. Any kind of stories about the past, fiction or nonfiction, even if they're complete or not, bring up questions to my mind, and I just want to keep exploring. Now, I think that's the real reason for research.